Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Adobe Flash CS 5.5 by the end of this tutorial you should be able to create three different shapes as you see in, in the video and use motion tween and effects to uh, have a nice finish let's get started first we are going to click on frame one make sure we have the selection tool chosen and click on frame one and I'm going to choose a shape I'm gonna go ahead and choose the polystar tool if you want to see the properties for that uh, you can go in here and look at the options I have it as a star 5 star and point zero, point five zero as the and also for my color I'm choosing white because I'm going to change the background to black and I'm, I clicked my border and chose this one so my border is going to look nice and fancy first let's go ahead and modify the document I am going to change the background to black and let's go ahead and click OK and now I'm going to draw my star let's go ahead and click the 5 star in the center it's too big ok actually I want to go ahead and rotate that star let's go ahead and select it first let me go ahead and do the alignment let me go ahead and center it vertically and horizontally so it's in right in the center and then let's take a look here yes transform that's where I want actually I'm gonna go here and use the arrow so as it's blue hold on the left mouse button and I'm moving to the left so the number is negatively increasing and I'm looking at the at the star to get the number that I want okay I like the way it looks I'm done it is highlighted so I'm going to go to windows and select motion presets and I'm going to select pulsing and I'm going to click apply it's going to ask me to convert it to a symbol I'm going to click OK and let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like let's click off the stage to deselect control enter on the keyboard to see what it looks like here's what the flash would actually look like okay alright let's go ahead and X out let's go ahead and add a new layer you can click right here at the bottom left of your screen or you can go up to insert timeline layer we have layer 2 I'm going to go ahead and select we're gonna keep the color as is and we're gonna go ahead and make the outside more colorful and select this one okay and then we're gonna make the inside fill blue 
let's go ahead and choose I'm going to choose the primitive rectangle tool and I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you the properties as you can see here I have this is square this is bevel and let's go ahead and draw it off to the left I'm holding down the shift key on the keyboard and dragging this and let's go ahead and click on properties I want the points sharper so I'm gonna drag this bar right here so that the points there we go so I can see the colors and this one let's go ahead and align it and let's make sure it's vertically centered let's turn off the alignment tool and I'm gonna go ahead choose the selection tool here click off the stage I'm gonna click on frame one and let's go ahead and select this make sure I only select frame one I'm gonna click frame one I am gonna click insert motion tween it's gonna ask to change this to a symbol click OK now I'm gonna click on the last frame and then I'm going to drag this to where I want it I'm holding on the shift on the keyboard shift key and dragging this to the right side of the of the stage let it go and as you can see on your screen there is a dotted line from the left to the right that shows that there is a motion tween and make sure that you have the selection tool ch chosen at the top right corner let's go ahead and point on the line and as you see on one end is the arrow on the opposite end is an arc that means you can go ahead and change the path of the tween so I'm dragging it down so when it tweens it'll go from it'll go under here I'm gonna go ahead and click off the stage and let's see what this looks like control enter on the keyboard once and let's watch what the movie looks like there you go alright looks good